Hi friends, it's Julia. Today I'm sharing layout number two for my counterfeit kit challenge series. Now on the fifth of this month, I showed you my kit, my March 2021 counterfeit kit challenge kit. And now I'm showing you day two of seven that I am creating for my series of seven layouts. So what I have here is I have pulled the sketches from March 2021 and March 2020 from the uh, page maps site. And so I went through, I chose my photos, I looked at the sketches, and then I went through and just put little numbers under each sketch that I was thinking about using. So for this one, I decided I'm going to use this sketch. Now this is a three photo sketch, and I'll show you a close up here in just a minute. But when I do this, when I choose a sketch to go with the layout that I'm going to use, if I see an arrow this way, that means that I know that I'm going to turn the layout to do the layout like this. This is going to be the uh, way that I create my layout. Rather than have the layout like this, it'll be the same uh, format on the sketch. I'll do it like this though. So don't forget when you're looking at sketches, if something appeals to you but it doesn't really work turn it sideways turn it upside down turn it the other way you don't have to exactly follow the orientation exactly like this so anywho let me show you with what what I've got to work with I pulled four photos they're about the same um, it was just a night sky I went to a scrapbooking retreat and I was out walking it was way out in the middle of nowhere in the country and so you got a clear shot of farm fields and the moon so beautiful so i have those photos that i want to scrapbook to remember that time i have pulled in a ton of scraps everything that i had left over from my first kit um, as well as this entire pack of scraps that i have pulled in as well last time so there's that I pulled in this page with the rainbow color on it. I just put it like this because having it like this almost reminds me of a sunset as opposed to like this makes me think of a rainbow, but for whatever reason, this makes me think of a sunset. And because this page has a, a little heart on it and crosses, I'm not really interested in making a sketch that is going to utilize that heart. So my thought process is to use this to either uh, put pull this layout down some and use it and, and border that on two sides or cut it all the way down and border it all the way around with that purple paper. And the back sides are pretty neutral. Well, that one's not, but this one is. So I could, if I wanted to cut that down some, use some of that as well. Paper-wise, that's what I have. Embellishment-wise, I have pulled in two sets of washi stickers. And you can see that set is pretty pretty well used and loved. That other set is not used at all. Uh, I pulled in these Ellie Studio flat stickers and these Ellie Studios epoxy stickers. I pulled in these freckled fawn um, puffy cameras puffy stickers. I pulled in these labels from Freckled Fawn and these are from November of 2019. I pulled in these little girls that my granddaughter colored in um, and I'm thinking this one because at the time I had really long brown hair. Um, yeah and it was summertime I think maybe in August or September. Summertime still for us here in Texas where I live um, and I was still wearing shorts. Then I have puffy stickers from the Jamie collection. I have these labels from Ellie Studio and they're May labels, but I thought the colors went well. These are just some scrap bits that I pulled out of my leftover bin as well as a pocket, couple of pocket page cards. These are the pocket page cards and then these are the leftover bits from my leftover bin. And then of course I pulled in the sticker sheet to use. So I have all of this stuff to work with Plus, I have lots of little random embellishments here. I have tons of enamel stickers here. Um, I have lots of other embellishments and stickers in here. Uh, lots of cut apart pieces or things that I have stamped and cut out. So I have tons to play with. So I will show you a close up of the sketch and then I will be back to show you what I created in just a minute. Be right back. 
Okay, friends, I am done with layout number two for my counterfeit kit challenge series. And let me start off by showing you, I will have shown you the close-up of the sketch that I use from Page Maps. So let me show you what I have left over. Uh, I have all three of the pocket page cards that I pulled in. I did not use them. I have one of these left. I pulled two of them in and I used one. I pulled in these labels uh, from L Studio, LE Studio and Freckled Fawn. I didn't use either of them. I pulled these word stickers from LE Studio, did not use those. Uh, I did not use any of the cameras and I was trying to use this sticker from this sheet. I believe this goes right here. And I didn't use that. I did not use any of these stickers and this is from one of the little printables that I had printed out and never, I fussy cut it, but obviously didn't use it. So, uh, well, let me stick it right on my box. And then this sticker sheet, I did not use that. So showing you what I did use, I used some scraps from this pile of scraps and I added in an eight and a half by 11 piece of uh, cream color cardstock to back my photos. And so the scraps are in with these. I did use the one little girl that I had previously stamped and my granddaughter had colored in. I did use these enamel, or not enamel, these are acrylic, I think, uh, faceted gemstones. I did use these epoxy stickers from Ellie Studio. And I did use washi strips from both sets of washi tape. This one had a little floral print here that I used. And this one had uh, this like sideways plaid um, on it that I used. So I have two strips left on there. And it's hard to believe, but with this gold alpha, I was able to create another title. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but I was able to do it. Um, so I have very little left of that. And I did use this uh, hot pink fuchsia color uh, that I have three sets of and the gold tone alphabet to um, create a partial title. And I did use my border punch. And here is the layout that I created. You can see, I used a ton of stuff. I went through my basket of things that I had uh, previously stamped and either die cut or fussy cut out. And I pulled out a couple of the flower embellishments. I used one of the die cuts that I had in there and the leaves that I had in there that I had previously stamped and colored. Um, I used them on each little cluster. You can see the, um, faceted gemstones here on each little cluster. There's that one piece that I had put behind there. And then I used a little bit of a border here and that's these, these tiny little border strips that I had stamped and fussy cut out. Those I used behind, or I should say, yeah, behind this scallop border, you can see them poking out there. They're just orange here, red here along the top of this, and then red down here along the bottom. So you can see there's my title, Walking, and I MacGyvered some letters. Um, that was a letter B, I think, or a letter D. That was, of course, a V. That was a W, of course, a K. The I was, I want to say the number one. It's just walking in moonlight. And then one of the tags, oh, I did use that big sticker sheet. I thought I did not. I pulled this tag from there and used that. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And it's Joshua 19. And so the photos are of, I was walking down a country road and I was watching the moon rise spectacular moon that night like a harvest moon um, and as I was walking along you know I would stop and I had probably I don't know a hundred photos on my camera that night 
um, as I was walking along. Yeah, so I saved the clearest, the best. Um, there's nothing like being out in the country and watching either the sunset or the moon come up. And there's nothing around, you know, uh, when you've got, uh, I want to say these were soybean or wheat fields right beside where, uh, right beside the road. Anywho, so yeah, and there's my little girl stamp and I put her up on fun foam. You know, I just cut it down and put it behind her and, and added some adhesive. That's a little cut apart piece there. There's the other uh, thing that I stamp, or that's not a cut apart piece. That's an off cut from a piece of six by six paper. That is something I had previously stamped and fussy cut or cut out. Here's my washi strips down here and then my epoxy uh, phrases on each of those. And then I have the layered up uh, scraps back here. I cut a little piece of that blue scrap and scallop punched it. And that stitching there is already on that background paper. I didn't do anything to that. That's not something I did. But I'll have some close-ups at the end of this video, so make sure stay tuned for that if you're interested. I do have a playlist for each month of the year um, on my YouTube channel. And the playlist for March will include these layouts. So if you're interested, head over there. Plus, I have another playlist that I've started this year, I think, called Counterfeit Kit Challenge that will have, or CKC, that will have all the layouts that I create with my counterfeit kits this year. Anyway, I hope this inspires you to get into your stash. If you built a kit this month, I hope it inspires you to get into your kit and create something with it. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the next layout. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.